Hey friends, Jill here. Welcome back to Whispering Willow Farm. It is a very exciting day here. Today is the day that I get to plant my garden and I am over the moon ecstatic. I actually waited until Charlie came home because now that she's in school, uh, she hasn't been able to help me as much and she's missing it. And so I thought, you know what, I'm going to save this and have it be a little afternoon treat. Her and I will go out into the garden and plant it. Uh, we did have that crazy uh, two days of frost. I covered all my stuff up with mason jars. Some of the beans took a little bit of damage, but I think they're all going to pull through. I even had tiny, tiny cucumber sprouts that all came up wonderfully and nice. And so, super, super encouraged by that. But today... I'm going to be planting out my tomatoes um, and some of my marigolds. They are just like, have used up all the nutrients in the small pots they're in. At this point, it would be better off for me to put them in the ground and they withstand some sort of damage if it dips back lower uh, than the lack of nutrients they're getting in the soil that they're in right now. Um, and so that's kind of, I just weighed my odds on it. Um, I'm probably going to wait until this weekend and sow out all of my zinnias. That's probably going to be a bit more tedious job that's going to be a little bit harder for Charlie to help me with. We're actually going to go through and cut a walkway in between the trellising uh, just so I can easily access both sides, which is something we're already kind of tweaking. Uh, but as I was thinking through planting that, I thought, oh, well, maybe having a little bit of a walkway would be nice. Um, but I'm going to grab some tools in here. Then we'll grab Charlie, head out to the greenhouse, grab our plants, and we'll start planting. Charlie, you want to come plant the garden with me? Yeah. Well, come on. All right. You going to hold these? Uh -huh. We're going to plant these seeds on a trellis over there, and then we're going to go in the greenhouse and get... You got the hiccups. <laughs> and then we're going to get some of Mommy's um, tomato plants, okay? You ain't got no pockets? Stick this mm -hmm. in my pocket here. I'll stick it in my pocket. So some of my stuff didn't come up. Like some of my beans didn't come up. So I'm just going to re-sow some beans and re-sow some cucumbers. One of mine came up. And the other one I couldn't find it. Oh, check. Watch out, baby. There's lots of bees on here, okay? You see that bee right there? I hear one, it. One, two, three. There's They're a bunch bees. of them, huh? Look at that bee. Bees really like pollen. Well, yeah. Look. Uh oh. Goodness, we may have to come back to this one, huh? What do you think? <laughs> you want to come back to it? Uh -uh. All right. So this little cucumber uh, came up, and then oops, watch out. And then this little cucumber came up, and then I've got this. One starting to emerge however I don't remember which one I sewed on this side and which one I sewed on that side so I'm just gonna guess can you get me um can you look through these and see which one is cucumbers I already see it right here all right so I need one of these seeds at the very top okay just one? yeah just one do you know what kind of cucumber that is no. Do you mean to tell you? Mm -hmm. It's a sh Armenian striped cucumber. Oh, it's those ones that don't have pipey thorny things. Right. <laughs> oh, I'm going to let you plant it. Uh, uh, Is that okay. a good idea? Yep. Okay. Let me put this back. It's fine. I'm just sitting right here. So, just make some space right around here. Move Ooh, the dirt back. Oh, it's okay. The bee's not going to hurt you. I promise. So just move the dirt back. And just barely pop it in there. Hey, Mama. Did you do it? You pushed it in the ground? Yep. So what are we going to do now? We're going to go over here to this trellis and we're going to put some beans on it. Yummy. <laughs> you like beans? Yeah. Alright. If you open up that blue container, Charlie, there should be a baggie. You should see a baggie in there. You see it? Okay, bring it to mom. So I had a really sweet viewer, Sally Booth, 
she sent me these beans and said that her family had grown them for generations. They're Louisiana purple pod pole bean. And she sent me these in a sweet little note saying that it was the best tasting green bean her family had ever had. And so some of these didn't make their way up in my garden and I thought, well, how sweet. Um, you know, that was so nice of her to send these to me. So I thought I'd grow them in my garden and we're gonna let Charlie plant them. All right, so you see where that line is on that cattle panel? Where the other beans are coming up for each line? Yep. So you're just gonna move back that compost and we're just gonna plant that in there, okay? All of these? Yeah, I'll move the soil over for you. Kinda see here how they got a little nipped. Oh, you'll actually come on this side, sis. This one definitely took um, a little bit more damage. Look at that. Yeah, so right here. Here, I'll move. Oh, look! <laughs> uh, we moved the soil back and there was a bean. So that's encouraging. Maybe I don't have to plant so many of these. All right, and then you'll just plop it down right there. That's so funny, isn't it? It stayed nice and warm in there. All right, and then you'll just cover it. That's perfect, that's perfect. All right, we'll move down here. Right here. Oh. <laughs> Oh look, here's another bean. Oh my goodness. Look at that, that one actually started to sprout. I guess these maybe just got, we did have a little bit of rain. Maybe they got washed away or something. That's crazy. Oh gosh. I know. I'm, I'm gonna plant this one right here, okay? This is insane. <laughs> that was actually the Scarlet Runner bean. And then maybe we can plant one on the end down here. Ooh, I see two spots. All of these came up and did really fine. This one, this one. Oh, right here, it's gotta grow up on this trellis right here. So we'll just maybe, oh look, that little guy, he was there, but doesn't look like he made it. What? Look at that, it was just so small. Hmm. We'll compost that, it's okay. So you'll just put a bean right there. Poor little bean. All right, you wanna take this and put it in the compost bin? Poor little thing. <laughs> Now on the other side of this trellis, I'd ripped up all of those peas that you guys said weren't edible and re-sowed those. So I'm not actually gonna plant over those because I think they'll probably sprout up. Um, but on this side, the fava beans, some have sprouted up, some haven't. So I'm just gonna kind of move back the soil some and, and see where we are. All right. Oh, so there's that one. I might've come out here too when I thought, you know, the frost was coming and like just covered them well. There we go. Here they all are. So. There's another one. Look, Char, these all came up. They were just hiding. There's the actual bean right there. Do I? Nope, that's, that. that's perfect. Look, they're all starting to come up now. <gasps> I see another bean. There hey, you, you know what would be really fun? What? If you sang your flower song. Can you show your friends your flower song? Okay, let me, let me, let um, me. Which one, Mom? I don't know, which one do you want to do? Both. Okay, let's, let's do it. I bet they really like to see that, Charlie. Which one first? Whichever one you want to do. <laughs> this is Charlie's flower song. Flowers, stem, leaves, and roots, leaves, and roots. Flowers, stem, leaves, and roots, leaves, and roots. <laughs> All it takes is soil, water, sun. Flower, stem, leaves, and roots, leaves, and roots. Good job. That's my favorite. Now we're going to do your favorite. Okay. What do plants need? What do plants need? To grow tall, to grow tall. Plants need soil, water, and sun. Watch them grow, watch them grow. You are so smart, Charlie. Oh my goodness, proud mama. <laughs> that was so good. All right, let's go to the greenhouse and pick out some plants. Yeah, everything in the green stock's doing good. I was, I mean, I know this is all kind of cold hardy, but I was still a little worried. There are beans going to sprout. Yep, you see the beans starting to yep. sprout. Uh, so that's exciting. These are bush bean varieties in oh. here. My little chives hung through. Um, yep, there's a bunch of little sprouts going on in there. So that's this awesome. Didn't make it. Didn't make it. Let me see. Um, hasn't sprout yet. Here, look. See that right there? Yep. 
that is trying to sprout. So we'll just put it just like that. And cover it up. Yep, and barely cover it up. Perfect. Okay, cool. Good job. All right. Hey, Charlie. What? You think you can find a strawberry in there? I see a red one. Oh, it's a really red one. <laughs> Yay, yummy. Yeah. Can we help you get yeah. it off? Yeah. That's a squish. Here we go. I see, I see this one trying to sprout and string. Ah, there's tiny bees. Eat it. And you'll have to tell Mr. Sean if he grew a good strawberry or not. Mm. What do you think? Mm. He did good? <laughs> ah, sour. <laughs> oh. oh, here's one. That one's probably ripe too. We'll take that for June. These are ash actually our aunt uh, Ashley's, and we're gonna take them to them in a few weeks when we go to visit. Look at that little baby strawberry! Yeah. Isn't that so cute, Charlie? Mm -hmm. All right, we'll have to not forget this one for Junie B. So I'm trying to find all of my paste tomatoes. I separated everything out pretty good. Now I'm gonna just kind of lump them together, and I'll probably. What I like to do is just lay everything out in the garden and then come back and try to figure out where I am and do fillers. Um, I will probably plant these a little bit closer uh, just because I think I have more than I, I need. Um, so I'll just see where I'm at here. But I've got um, a red paste, aroma, pink ox heart, the Ace 55. That's actually a determinant, I think, variety. Um, Italian Roma, red, that will also determine too uh, where I put these, the ones that are going to need trellising and the ones that won't. Um, so I'll definitely put all the ones that are going to need some sort of support together and then the determinant varieties I'll probably put together and I can do some sort of Florida weave. What's up guys? Today it's me, Charlie. Welcome back to my channel. Before we get started, click on the subscribe button, turn on notifications, and give me a huge thumbs up. So today, it's a little windy. Um, today I'm going to be showing you some stuff. So, we... We're going to be heading to my mom's plants. All right, so I just grabbed seven uh, determinant varieties because I know I'll have to do the same trellising method. Char, can you come carry this for mom, you think? Can you carry that? All right. Whoops. And then we're going to go over to, a, to the garden. So I am going to be planting all of my tomatoes about 18 inches apart. When I do the uh, trellis system that I've done in the past, the trellis to make you jealous, I'll, I'll find that video and link it. I typically do them closer together because I'm heavily pruning. Um, aside from growing last year in the tunnels, that's the only time I grew a determinate variety. And so just to give myself some space with them not overcrowding, um, I am going to go ahead and just do the 18 inches apart. All right, you wanna hold these? All right, we'll come right over here. Which end do you want to start on? This one or this one? That one. This one? Okay. Well, let's move our stuff out. All right, so Mommy's going to dig you a space, and then you'll just come back in and fill them, okay? What's your favorite vegetable that Mommy grows? Your cucumbers. My cucumbers. Well, when we harvest cucumbers this year, you can say that you planted them because you did. Isn't that exciting? All right, we're gonna start with this Italian Roma. So I go through and pinch all the bottom leaves off. Now, when we get to our slicer, rude. <laughs> <laughs> my flag trying to get up in our business when I get to my slicer varieties these I started a lot later 
Um, but all of my slashers, they're like seven week old starts. They're very, very large. I'm going to plant those extremely, extremely deep. So there is a lot of forgiveness. If you have a plant that you realize is super, super tall, just, you know, take off a bunch of the lower limbs, plant them deep. Uh, what I'm gonna do with this tomato in particular is we're gonna plant right up to here. So that's still a good portion of it that we're gonna just clip off um, and put down into the soil. So I'm gonna just use my fingers and pinch these off for Charlie. And I'm gonna go ahead and remove any suckers if I see them. And those are in the armpits of the plants. And then these little guys have some blooms on them. I'm not sure if y'all can see that right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and pinch these off because right now I don't want this little bitty plant to be focused on producing fruit. I want it to get into the ground and start really putting all of its energy and establishing really, really good root systems. Uh, so I'm just gonna go through and do that. All right, Char. It's up to you. Now I am putting these plant markers in the ground. However, the Sharpie's probably gonna wear off. I'm probably not gonna know what these are. And that's honestly okay. All right, you're up, sis. Ooh. Now you can go through and just kind of break up the root system if you want. That's totally fine. Sometimes I do this, sometimes I don't. Look, this is what you'll do at the bottom. So you'll just go through and kind of tear it open just a little bit and plant. You can certainly do that. Usually it just depends. I'm not really a stickler on this. That's perfect, Charlie. And then we're gonna make sure that it's deep enough in here. All right. Whoa, what was that? There was a bee. That was a bee? All right, All right push, oh, look, we're gonna push it down. See, we're gonna make it go really down in the ground. Okay. Okay. I like your bracelet. Oops. All right. Stick that bad boy in there. You guys can see now what was a plant about this size is now here. And this is actually just kind of perfect because when this does uh, develop good root systems and grow up, it's going to be a really good and hardy plant. All right, Char, are you gonna plant this one on your own? Yep, on my own. You're doing such a good job. Get down in there. Yeah. You got your plant marker, your tag? Good job. All right, now you got one more. You think you can do it? Yep. You want to dig the hole in everything now that you've watched mom? Yep. Okay. There you go. That's about right, sure. All right, sure. I think that's perfect, okay? I'll hold it, okay. There you go. You're doing great, sis. Alright. There we have it. <laughs> You did so good. Look at that. And clean this little guy up some. There we go. And just like that, we have our first bed of tomatoes. Now we just need to water them really well. Charlie, do you mind picking up all these plastic containers and taking them to Mommy's greenhouse? Yep, I do. Thank you. All right, folks, and just like that, we have officially started planting the garden. 
obviously that took a little bit longer um, I could have come out here and knocked this out and if I'm being completely transparent tomorrow I will probably do majority of this while she's at school however she has helped me plant the garden for the last I don't even know how many years that's just been something that we've always done together and so I didn't want her to miss out on that or think that it wasn't a priority for me to wait for her uh, so I did and we've got you know a bed of tomatoes planted and then I know when they start growing she'll feel really proud especially with the cucumbers and the beans she'll know that she played a huge role uh, in helping do that and so that is really important to me uh, so thank you guys for coming along tomorrow um, I'll probably Probably have a video of me finishing planting the garden and give you guys some tips uh, along the way. Oh, are you bringing the water hose? Yep. That is so sweet of you. Do you want to come say bye to your friends? Yeah, mommy will get the water hose. <laughs> hey, at least she sees a project through. I gotta appreciate that. Did you have fun planting the garden with mom? Yeah. What are you most excited about? The cucumbers, the beans, or the tomatoes? Cucumbers. The cucumbers. What's your favorite way to eat them? With the ranch. <laughs> With the ranch. Daddy makes some good homemade ranch. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. This has been so much fun. I'm glad I got to do this with you, Charlie. That's <laughs> I'm glad mommy waited till you got out of school. You were such a good helper. All right, we're gonna get busy watering these, but thanks for hanging out with us. We'll talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.